Hi, Will from Music Tech here at the NAMM show in Anaheim with Chris on the Roland booth, and we are checking out a mixer for live streaming. Chris, can you tell us a bit more about this? Sure, so this is our brand new product. It's the VR1 HD. Uh, we just launched it at uh, CES just a few weeks ago. Uh, it's really inspired by the live content creator. So content creators who want to go to Facebook Live or YouTube or uh, even the gamer who wants to go to Twitch. Um, so we take, uh, we take some cameras, uh, video inputs, some uh, audio inputs, kind of mix them all together, and then we send it out to, uh, to a computer for the purpose of streaming. So how many inputs does it have? So we have three HDMI video, which also carries audio. We have two XLR microphone inputs, and we have one RCA line input. So these, uh, these mic inputs, they have phantom power, so you can use condensers as yes, well, yeah? absolutely, yes. Okay, great. And I see uh, the, you've got an audio effects option here. What does that do? Yep, so audio effects uh, is really for allowing you out on the, uh, for the performer. We have a reverb, so classic reverb for a musician or a singer. Uh, we have the ability to add sound effects. So this one, as an example, is, is a clap track. So there's clapping going on right now. Uh, BGM is background music or it could be stingers uh, or intros and outros to uh, the, the, the live show. Uh, and then the voice changer. Now the voice changer was really purpose built for uh, the gamer. So we know in the gaming world, people spend lots of money and time and energy building the perfect character. Yeah. So now they can build the perfect voice for their character. And that's adjustable presumably. It is, yes, completely customizable. Okay, I guess that's not gonna have many applications in the musical world. Probably but who knows? Not, but maybe it is based on our VT4, which is our uh, you know indus our industry standard for voice changing. Right. Okay. And um, so there's also these three inputs. What what's going on with the inputs? I see a, an auto switching looking button here. Yeah. So so auto switch is one of the coolest features I think, my in my personal opinion. Uh, so when you enable auto switch, uh, right now we're enabling what's called beat sync mode. Uh, so right now what's happening is if you look at the monitor. Uh, the, the camera inputs are switching automatically uh, based on the tempo of, of Alex's performance. So it only will cut from one camera to the next on a beat, yes. like a real human editor. Yeah, and you can take that beat from any of the inputs, so any of the HDMI or any of the audio can be, any audio inputs could be your reference. Right, okay, and it looks like there are several different options there for if you have somebody actually running this. Um, is it possible to run it by yourself as well? Yeah, you can totally run it in manual mode. Uh, so you can uh, take care any of the any of the video inputs automatically or, or via manual. Uh, but we also have video scenes. So if you wanted to create um, picture in pictures, we can do that. Or we can do a split screen. Uh, you know, if you were doing an interview with someone, you can do split screens. Okay, and the outputs then. What do we have there? So on the output side, we have two HDMI. Mm -hmm. uh, one of them is with a menu, so you can go in and configure it. Uh, one of them is without a menu. Mm -hmm. And then USB 3 connects to a PC or a Mac. Uh, and then your PC or Mac sees the VR1 HD as a webcam. So super easy. Right, okay. No additional applications or software to install. How much is it going to cost then, and when will it be available? So it will be available in Q2 uh, of, of this year, and it will be $1,500 uh, map price, US. US. Great. Thanks very much, Chris. All right. Pleasure.